absolutely useless. So that did not make it to puppy number two. Her is like, why you got my collar and leash? Where are we going? I bought that whole pack, never used it. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Freya and Bela's channel. My name is Marissa. I'm the dog mom of this account, and Freya and Bela are not joining me for today's video because I wanted to do a little comparison, I guess you could say, of the things that I bought Freya when she was eight weeks old. She's now two, so I wanted to re-watch my puppy haul video because I titled it, you know, New Puppy Essentials, and I'm curious if they really are essentials, if there's things from that video that we are still using, and especially things that either I'm still using for Freya or that I'm still using for puppy number two because we just got a golden retriever puppy and more videos on her specifically will be coming soon but I just wanted to know I need to know if I bought the right stuff if I spent the right money and if that stuff is really essentials so we're gonna watch my haul together and break down if what I bought for puppy number one was useful for puppy number one if it made it through and still here and if it's useful for puppy number two so I hope this video is helpful for you guys if you're new here make sure you subscribe down below for more puppy content and dog content I guess Frey is no longer a puppy which is so sad to think about we do dog vlogs over here, dog haul, some training videos, a little bit of everything all around my Australian Shepherd and Golden Retriever, Freya and Bela. But let's hop in. I want to see what I bought two years ago for Freya. <gasps> I can't even begin to explain to you my excitement. And today I wanted to show you everything that we have gotten for her so far to like prep for her arrival. Now I do want to say that this is like an essentials video. However, we may have gone overboard. The first few things here are definitely essentials for any puppy. You need to get some pee pads and little doggy pads for the ground. So if she has accidents, hopefully they land here and not on the floors, not on the carpets, all that good stuff. Very interesting because first things first, I never used a singular pee pad for Freya. I bought that whole pack, never used it. I still have it. The little bag comes in this box, but I still have pee pads that I never freaking used. And I kept them because I thought I would use them eventually or for puppy number two. And just the way that I potty trained both the dogs, I didn't use pee pads. Also at PetSmart, I picked up basically like a cheap, normal kind of harness for her. And I wanna get her used to that as soon as possible. Freya never used that harness either. She's terrified of harnesses. I don't know why, even just as an eight week old puppy, she never liked them. I do have a similar one that I bought for Bela and she wears it every single day. She wears the harnesses and she likes them and is totally fine. So obviously it depends on your dog, but that never got used for Freya and did not make it to puppy number two. And then I got the matching leash for it. They're both from Top Paw, like the brand at PetSmart. That leash, I do still use. It does not look that new because Freya has chewed on it and everything, but that is her daily leash that she uses every single day. So that my money's worth at least out of the leash. It doesn't make it to puppy number two because that is Freya's leash, but I still use it. So I went with this one and I also just think it's really cute and it matches her leash. So, you know, had to get it. <laughs> I, I should just bring everything in here. Like I said, I still have the leash. It's the top paw leash, but this thing has been through the ringer. Freya's like, why you got my collar and leash? Where are we going? It's not pretty anymore, but obviously it's still usable. We use it every single day. It's attached to her everyday collar. And I do still have the dog tag that I got Freya when she was a puppy. I actually really like these dog tags. They're from Kalo or Quelo. I never know how to pronounce it, but they are really, really good. And I want to get one for Bela. I never ended up getting one for her from that brand. And actually, Bela doesn't have a dog tag at all. So we need to get her one. But the dog tag has made it. The leash has made it these two years. Another essential, of course, is how she will eat her food, which is from this bowl right here. I got this off Amazon. It just has a removable water cup, which I like that it's removable. I did use this. However, I don't still use it. And I don't think I used it past like a week or two with Freya. She moved into snuffle mats and other like slow feeder, fun, mental enrichment games. And I've never looked back. She has never eaten out of a bowl ever since that. So I don't still have it. Was never useful. Did did not make it to puppy number two, so much so that I did not buy Bela one of these kinds of things. She has a silicone slow feeder. Freya would also spill the water and stuff. The combo is not good. I did not enjoy that. The few pink items that I was able to get is a little puppy Kong for her. So of course we'll be able to stuff this with peanut butter or anything like that to keep her busy if we wanna keep her in the crate or in the playpen. I do still have the pink Kong. She does still use it. Kongs are her absolute favorite. I wouldn't let Freya chew on the pink one now as an adult because she will rip it up because it's softer and I have now like adult and larger Kongs, but I do still have the pink one just to like lick and fill with food and stuff like that. And Bela still uses it as well. So that has made it to puppy number two. I also got her a pink puppy Nyla bone for like chewing and for teething and stuff like that because she most definitely will be when we first get her. The tiny Nyla bone, that was Freya's favorite freaking 
bone. I'm pretty sure I still have like the remnants of like the tiny piece somewhere hidden away because that was her favorite thing ever. She loved to chew on it and then as she got bigger she kept trying to chew on it when it was way too small for her. Obviously it's a safety choking hazard so I had to take it away and it was so sad. So that did not make it to puppy number two but Freya most definitely used it and loved it. I bought her bigger ones and now she uses like the pen and bones, the bigger adult type bones. This is a licky mat and there's actually two of them but they're like suction cup together because they can stick to services. Essentially what we plan to do with this is spread peanut butter on it. You can spread Greek yogurt on here. You can spread whatever like dogs can eat, even like wet food and like freeze it or anything like that. And they can just lick it up. Kind of like a Kong. I do still use these. One of them I think got chewed up though. I only have, I think the pink one left. I need to re-up on more now, especially that we have three dogs in the household, but they have made it to puppy number two. Bela has used them. Highly recommend, especially for bath time. If you just stick that sucker to the shower wall or whatever, they can lick that peanut butter, wet dog food, whatever, and keep them preoccupied while you give them baths and like positively associate that. Highly, highly recommend lick mats. These are her poop bags. I got a pack of two, one black, one blue, or one black, one blue. Still have that baby. The same one. Again, it has been loved and used, but it has held up. I don't know where the blue one is. I should find that. It never made it to puppy number two because again, it's on Freya's leash and I've bought Bela a new one since then, but would highly recommend. They're just from Amazon. I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but I will link all the things down below. I got two of these. It came in a pack of two, but it's essentially a thing. So you see these little like this triangle part here. It's made Made to put like the bag through whenever you have like a filled up bag and then you tie it off and it'll hold it. Absolutely useless. I thought that I would use it because I'm like, who wants to carry a poo bag? But I just carry the damn poo bag. Or I'm close enough to one of the like poo trash cans that I just throw it away immediately. I have never used that. And of course you can't have a poo bag holder without poo bags. And so I got them in bulk. There's like 60 rolls and I think there's like 15 or 20 per roll. That box specifically got it from Amazon. Lasted me over a year and I think a half before I had to re-up on it. There's so many poo bags in there. So if you need a lot of them, would highly recommend. But this is essentially a really, really, really long lead. I wanna say it's like, what, 30 feet? Which is used for training. So it helps when you're trying to train recall, making sure that like they're kind of off leash without being off leash. I still use this, especially if I'm going on some sort of a nature walk through like a paved area, like a bike path or something. Like I wanna give Freya the free space to like go and sniff and do things, but technically it's not an off leash area. I use this all the time and it will be used for Bela as well. I might be crazy for this, but I really want to train Freya to like ring the bell whenever she has to go potty. Not crazy. I did teach Freya how to ring the bells. I do have a video on it. I will link it down below if you're curious or want to teach your dogs how to do it. Highly would recommend. Freya picked it up in like two days and we still use that same bell. I have not had to buy a new one in the two years that I've had her. And it is something that has lasted to new puppy trying to train Bela to use the bells and ring the bells to go potty. So would highly recommend teaching your dogs that. It is a foolproof way to know when they have to go potty rather than having to watch them as a hawk or wait for them to go to the door or something like that. I love that Freya knows how to do that. So I got a couple brushes to start out with until we figure out like what she really needs or if these work, that's totally fine. I started with a metal slicker brush, which is just like your typical metal brush, but it's still kind of like, you know, soft. It's not like too hard for her, but that way we can try to like brush her out that way. And then I also got specifically like a de shedding comb because they shed and they have undercoats and stuff. So we'll see how this works with her. I do still have both of these brushes. I didn't use them as much as I thought I would. So I brush her out every time she gets a bath and stuff, but not on like a daily. So they do get used. I do still have them. And I can see myself using them for Bela, of course, when she also gets bigger and after her baths and stuff like that. We just haven't gotten there yet. Is this little tiny finger toothbrush, if you see this, this is so freaking adorable. You just stick it on your finger and then you're able to like brush her teeth and you get like little docky toothpaste and you're like, mm, and it's just like, I don't know, easy. I never use that. I know I should and I really need to start because Freya's two now, but I have never brushed your teeth. I have started giving Freya the Pro Den like plaque off treats to kind of help with her teeth, but it could be better and actually brush them as well. However, I wanted to grab of course shampoo and stuff like that so we can give her baths here whenever she needs to which I got at PetSmart it's just the Earth Bath Ultra Mild Puppy Shampoo Wild Cherry which smells so good this shampoo was used and actually just recently finished off and I had to buy new shampoo but I did use it I would recommend not using like the scents when they're super small puppies like I started using it more so when Freya was a little bit older and I started off with an oatmeal like top paw kind of shampoo that I didn't show in this video 
so I'm not sure when I got it, but I did use this, which is a portable water bottle. Now this one is really cool, but the kicker is, which is why I love this one, is that whenever she's done, if she didn't finish any water, I can press the button again, tilt it up, and it'll go back into the bottle. That way we don't waste water. I did like that, and we used it for a while, but it broke. I think I just got, obviously, not a good quality one off of Amazon. Since then, I've kind of rebought different types. It did break. It never made it to puppy number two, and I do have a couple different types of, like, water bottles that are that style with the little flip out bowl and you squeeze it into and then it goes back into the water bottle. Haven't had to use it with Bailey X. We haven't really gone on adventures yet, but they will get used because a lot of people will use stuff like this, which are like collapsible water bowls. Whatever she doesn't drink, they just like pff, dump out and then you're wasting water. So I wanted to get one of these for the water. However, I still wanted to get collapsible bowls for like food. I do still have these, but I never use them. I do keep one of these in a cup of dog food in my car for like emergencies. Like if we ever get stranded somewhere or I just need food or whatever, I have a bowl for her to eat out of, but I don't think I use them. And this next thing is going to be her first of many, many, many items like this, which this is called a snuffle mat. It is all put together right now, but essentially this would open up to like this huge interactive mat like this that she can eat out of. She still uses this type. I've had to buy a second one because the other one just got dirty after using it every single day for over a year kind of thing. And I rebought the same one. So would highly recommend this one. This is basically in place of her dog bowl. We do other mental enrichment. So she doesn't eat out of this every single meal every single day. But if I don't do one of our other fun mental enrichments, she eats out of this. And this is like her standard dog bowl. Absolutely love it. I will get Bela one as soon as she's like big enough to be using this one. Cause right now she's just using her silicone slow feeder. Cause she's still obviously a tiny puppy, but I love, I have rebought and it has lasted me at least a year and a half, but I bought another one cause it was so good. But I of course signed her up for a bark box and we got her first bark box, which is like Valentine's day themed or like February themed. I signed Freya up for a six month subscription of BarkBox before we even got her. And in my head, I wanted to do that to stock up on toys. And I just thought it was really freaking cute. Cause like bang for your buck wise, one toy could be like $15 kind of thing, but you get two or three toys plus treats plus blah, blah, blah and BarkBox. This isn't a sponsorship. I don't have BarkBox now, but I would highly recommend it if you are getting your first puppy because I still have most of these toys. Bela still plays with them because they're small and puppy size. Obviously when Freya got bigger, she doesn't play with those, but I saved them and they're actually really good quality and I just had fun doing it. So I would recommend a six month subscription if this is like your first puppy, stock up on toys, have fun with the Tritos, have a good old time just with like the themes and stuff like that. But I didn't do it for Bela because we already have plenty of toys and really didn't need any more. But for a first time puppy, I liked it, which is a chuck it toy. And essentially it's just a thing that like helps you throw balls. And it also just helps you because when they get it all slobbery and stuff, you don't have to touch it. Like if this is the floor, you just kind of put it over it, snap it in, and then you're able to throw it again for them. A genius toy, quite honestly. I have used it quite a few times with Freya. I still have it. I keep it in my trunk just in case we go somewhere and I want to play with her. But Freya doesn't really chase a lot of things like that. Like she would rather just run, run, run and play with dogs or we've tried a Frisbee. Didn't really work. Like that's just not her forte. But I am excited for Bela because she's a golden retriever. Like I feel like she's going to live for this obviously retrieving thing. So I want to try it again with her. Haven't tried it yet, but I do still have it. And we'll see if Bela uses it. And these two are kind of toy-y, but they're also treat-y. So they're essentially rubber balls. So of course they can just be toys in that sense. But the cool thing is, is they have teeth on them, if you guys can tell, that you could open up and you put food in. So you could put kibble in there, you could put treats in there, whatever, you could put them all the way around. And then it's like a toy, a Kong kind of toy again, that they can sit down, that they can chew, that they can try to get the food out. That just takes them a little bit longer, keeps them busy. Do still have both of these. And again, once Freya got a little bit bigger, they were too small for her, so I never used them, but I saved them. And now Bela does use them and I put some of her treats and meals and snacks in there. They still work great. Would highly recommend. Sometimes I'll put like her kibble in between the teeth and you could put like peanut butter over it. Like you could do whatever you want with it. It's just a little rubber toy, but it has lasted the two years and it's made it to puppy number two. And so the first bed is gonna be in her playpen, which is this bed. I did still have this bed. However, I just recently threw it away, but Bela did use it. Obviously Freya outgrew it really quick because it's like a puppy sized bed. And then when we got Bela, she used it for a little bit. However, it was in the crate one night and she accidentally poo pooed in the crate and it got all over the bed. And obviously it's a very fluffy furry bed and we just couldn't get it out and I had to throw it away. So I was so sad about that. And since then have bought Bela a new bed and it's the same kind, it's just bigger. I didn't get like a puppy sized, more of like a medium sized dog bed that is this like fluff. So this style would highly recommend. This one would have made it to puppy number two or it did technically, but it just didn't last through puppy number two because of a poo fiasco in the crate. This this is a dog car seat cover with mesh viewing window. It's like a doggy hammock for them to chill in, to sit in, in the back seat of the car. I have bought two of these, the same one, because again, it also just kind of gets worn and it's lasted me over a year. 
and a half. It just started looking a little dingy and I think I ripped it because I had a box back there or something like that. And it was really good quality. Freya loves the hammock. She literally sits in like the hammock part and just loves to like mold into the curve or whatever. She enjoys it. The one that I bought is really good quality and I've enjoyed it. So one of them made it through about a year and a half, rebought it. It has made it to puppy number two. Bela sits in the same hammock in the back. They hang out back there together. I love having the car hammock. Of course, one of the main things that we will need for her is a crate. I do still have the exact same crate. I saved it after Freya and Bela uses it now because crates and like play pens and stuff can get really expensive. And I always knew I would want a second puppy at some point. So I did save it. Bela uses it now. And I'm so happy that I got like the extra large one because I wanted one big enough for Freya, but Bela's probably going to be bigger than Freya. We'll find out. But it is still used and made it to puppy number two. This last item behind me is not an essential per se, but for me is an essential or I think it'll just be better and easier to train Freya with this, which is basically, it's called a pet loo but it's essentially a turf box that she can use to go potty so that way she doesn't have to use puppy pads i loved this thing i still get dms about it i still get comments about it on whether or not i would recommend it or how it was cleaning it whatever and i loved it and i would have done the same thing for bela if we had a balcony in this apartment because i don't want a turf grass that she like pees and poos on inside the house me personally you could do that i guess but i didn't want to do that and i wish we had a balcony because it was so easy to potty train prayer that way and that's why also i never use pee pads pads because we use the turf. She would go out on the balcony to go potty. It comes with little cleaning kits because I get a lot of questions about it of like, does it smell? How do you keep it clean kind of thing? It comes with cleaning kits and like a little powder that you put in the tray underneath. So when they pee and it goes in, it solidifies and you can just like toss the whole thing. It keeps it smelling good as well. But I did like it. And I think it was a seamless transition from potty training to a turf to then going to like real grass kind of thing. I just didn't want pee inside the house, period. I never wanted there to be an option of going potty inside. So this thing can be a little pricey as well, but I loved it. If you have a balcony, I would recommend it. That is everything that I bought for puppy number one. And looking back, honestly, it was pretty good. I think the haul was good and kind of essentials. There's a few things here and there, obviously, but there was some good essentials in there and things that have made it to puppy number two, or at least lasted the two years or that I've rebought because it is so good. There's probably only two or three things that I never used and wasn't really useful for me, which is like those collapsible dog food bowls, the poo bag holders, the tooth brush which I should be using also the pee pads obviously I didn't use but I think that's a pretty good haul and I'll also link the video that I did of my second puppy haul it is much smaller than this one because again I was curious of how many things transferred over to puppy number two and it is quite a lot which is why I didn't have to buy so much for the second puppy when we got Bela but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I know that you guys are anxiously waiting impatiently waiting for actual puppy videos and you guys want to see Bela you want to see some pup dates and training videos so her three month pup date is coming next week and I'm so excited for you guys to see it but I promise I have been filming everything like all the training teaching her set everything like that and they will be posted so be patient and subscribe down below if you guys are pumped to see those videos and ready for training videos and pop dates and stuff like that I love you guys so much and we will see you guys next week bye